It's 9:47 on this Saturday morning. It's time for Imagine It. Carl Nelson is here from the Imagination Station. Good morning. Good morning. What are we doing? Well, this is a really cool thing you can do at home over the holidays. Okay, so I like at-home projects. Cool so do the parents. Listen up. At-home activity. We're going to make a lava lamp. Oh, yes. Okay. okay. And so it's really easy. The ingredients are basically just some vegetable oil. Okay, which we have here. And you can use any kind of container. I've got, you know, if you have a graduated cylinder at home, <laughs> sure, perhaps. Sure, right. Or a 20 ounce bottle, a two liter bottle, you're going to fill it up about three quarters of the way with oil. Okay. And you want to use just the cheapest oil you can find. Sure. Okay, no extra virgin olive oil. Okay, so like just that. your standard vegetable canola. Does canola work too? Canola will okay. work fine. You just want something that's kind of clear. All right. Now, for our lava, we're actually going to use water mixed with a little bit of uh, food coloring. All right. And so I'm going to let you choose. Would you like red lava or blue lava? Um, I will have red lava. Okay. So just go ahead and dump a bunch. Just take the whole, yeah. Oh, okay. We're gonna, the whole we're gonna thing go, off. We're going to go right. crazy with the food coloring here. Okay. Dump a good dash in there. That's pretty good. Good. All that right. Looks good. And again, you can experiment with this and whatnot. Sure. So now go ahead and take that water and with the funnel, go ahead and pour it down inside your container there. And you just want to get maybe an inch or two at the bottom. Okay. And the cool physics here that's happening is that the. Is that enough or more? Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay. You can see like the water is flowing down and sinking right. to the bottom. It's more dense than the oil. Mm -hmm. Or conversely, the oil is. Blow this one up too. Okay. Um, the oil is less dense than the water. And so our lava is going to sink down to the bottom. Now it's not going to be a very cool lava lamp if the oil or the lava just sits at the bottom. Sure. Okay. So our secret ingredient here to get things moving mm -hmm. is Alka Seltzer. Oh, easy. Another drugstore find. So Alka Seltzer you may even have around for the holidays if you overeat or something like that. Absolutely. Now what we're going to do is the Alka Seltzer is really neat. It has an acid and a base in it. Mm -hmm. And when you mix it with water, it will start to fizz. Fizz, right. Okay. And that fizzing, is just carbon dioxide gas, which is being released. Okay. okay. So what we're going to do is in our lava lamps, we're going to drop a few little crumbles of the alka or maybe break it up into four okay. pieces or so, something like that. We're going to drop those in and go ahead and drop like four, five, six of them in that one. You can load a few into this one here as well. And what happens is when that carbon dioxide gas um, starts mixing and releasing, it drags some of the colored oh, yeah, water you start to see up. It. Okay. And then when those little bubbles get to the top, mm -hmm. they burst and the droplet Go of water back down. sinks back ah, down. Ah, okay. All right. Now, even cooler is if you have a flashlight. All right. Okay. Now you gotta be careful here because the flashlights are a little tippy, but you can uh, actually put your lamp on top, whatever container you're making Ooh, it in. Oh, that's cool. And it'll just keep cycling and cycling. The cool thing too is that over time, the alka cells will get used up. Mm -hmm. The bubbles will sink back down, and you can do it again and again and again. Oh, neat. We've had some of these at the Science Center we've been using for months. Hmm. Um, and the one tip you do want to do is if you have a container that's open, leave it open while you're doing the lava lamp action. Okay. okay? Um, but when you're done, and sure. it's time to you put it away. You want to store it on the counter. You want to right. store it with the lid back on top. Okay. Because this is a nightmare of a mess if this spills. <laughs> okay. No, Carl, a two liter <laughs> two filled liters with oil. oil. <laughs> That's right. All right. Well, that's pretty neat. And you know what? I'll tell you what. I think the red is pretty festive. It reminds me of the holidays in some sort of fashion. So yeah. I like that. This and is an easy one. Like I said, you can just keep adding more and more of the Alka-Seltzer in. Eventually, you'll get so many tiny little water droplets suspended in there mm -hmm. that it'll it'll look kind of crummy. It'll be opaque. Um, so just let it sit for a while. Okay. 10, 20 minutes. The water will settle back down because it's more dense. Mm -hmm. And you can start uh, dropping more Alka-Seltzer. And this is different than a regular lava lamp. The reason I'm saying that, I look at this and the bubbles are so small. Compared right. to, you know, the ones that you see in the store, they have the large... Right, that's like a waxy compound that heats okay. up with the light bulb and it's got toxic chemicals in right. it. Right, so this is just this an is, all... This is fun at home. It's really cool. I yeah. mean, it's, it's, in a dark room, it's really cool as well. Oh, absolutely. Wonderful. Well, that's neat. Well, this is one that you guys can do at home there. So uh, the lava lamp making, you can also see this, I'm sure, down at the Imagination Station oh, from yeah, time ask, to time. Ask any of our team members. We have a bunch in the back, all different colors. We even have some with glitter in them, which is kind of fun too. Ooh. So, if, you know, you can add other stuff in there as well. Everything's better with glitter. That's my theory. <laughs> All right, Carl Nelson, thanks so much for coming in. That's sure. this week's Imagine It. If you would like to go down to the Imagination Station, they are open today and tomorrow. You guys, are you closed on Christmas Eve? We are closed on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. And Christmas Day. All right, reopening the day after Christmas? Correct. All right, Correct. sounds good. That's this week's Imagine It. Thanks so much, Carl. Stay right there. We have another check of that forecast as we take a live look outside. And from there, we're also going to go to sports. Stay with us.